Welcome back. You know that favorite old t-shirt that you just can't get rid of because you love it? Well, how about making it brand new again? Tanya is back with fun and cool ways to revamp that tee. Uh, before we start these DIYs, I got to ask you, are you a t-shirt head? Like, do you have a ton of them in your closet? How many are we talking about? To be honest, I'm pretty reasonable t-shirt wise. It's more dresses that I'd be embarrassed to share a number. But t-shirts, yeah, I, kind of minimal with that. Okay, yeah. all right, so not a lot of t-shirts, a ton of dresses, you're very much like me, but I've got too many t-shirts as well, so I'm gonna be paying attention. Okay. Uh, you've got some amazing DIYs, and I love them because they are no so. I'm all about the no so yes. and the previous segment, no ironing. Right? So all the shortcuts, keep it easy. Yeah. Yes. So for this one, Tracy, all that you need is a really good pair of fabric scissors. Yeah. So that's going to be your key tool. And then, of course, like you said, there's probably a lot of t-shirts lying around in homes. Or I actually thrifted all of these t-shirts. Oh, for you. Super reasonable prices and, you know, some really fun graphics and, and prints. I love that. Okay, so if you are looking for t-shirts and you don't have a closet full of them like I do that you get, you know, sometimes for free, yeah. go out and thrift them. Uh, super, super inexpensive. And you can get cool retro looks like this Game Boy one. And this is where we're going to be starting. That's so right. You get the regular t-shirt outline, but we kind of want to make it a little bit more now. Exactly. So there is the whole boxy, bigger t-shirt. We saw that last summer yes. with biker shorts, and that's really cute. Yeah. But sometimes that could be overwhelming for a certain body frame. So yeah. it is nice to have some options in terms of revamping and just minimizing the size of the t-shirt. So I'm going to start with the first DIY for a t-shirt is we can either cut the neckline or the sleeve, or both. Or both. So in this case, we're gonna do both. Yeah. So I'll start with the neckline here. So I already pre-cut some of it just to, you know, save some time. Yeah. Um, so really, just along the hem, I just kind of went, you know, a couple of millimeters mm -hmm. away there, and I'll just finish that off. And what's nice about the neckline uh, cut here, Tracy, is that it really um, kind of opens up that neckline. So depending on your body frame, maybe if you have a bigger bust, sometimes t-shirts with a high neckline can almost yeah. look a little suffocating. Totally. Well, that was gonna be my next question, because why would you want to change the neckline? But there's something sometimes about that really high t-shirt neckline that you're just like, I need a little bit more room. Also though, you could even do like a totally low flash dance, one shoulder down neckline if you wanted to, if that's the look you're looking for, like something a little bit more slouchy. For sure, that's really cute to do yeah. that 80s neckline. Totally. I love that. So you can really play, you can even do a V. Here I just did that's a good. really simple, um, you know, just kind of followed the line of the hem, of the neckline hem there. Nice. So kept it simple. And then with the sleeve, mm -hmm. so, Sometimes sleeves as well can create a little bit of some weird dimensions with our arms and they might not be the most flattering. Yeah. Right, especially when they're somewhat boxy. They can be super boxy and just hit you in the wrong place. Yes. Right? So yes. if you cut them like that, I just find if they're right here, they still get a bit of my bicep. <laughs> yeah. <and laughs> well, you're... <laughs> whatever you're trying to show on your arm. But there's a nice way to cut it. That's why sometimes you're looking for tops with those sleeves, because there's something nicer about a little bit of an angle. Exactly. Right? So cutting it on a 45 degree angle, rather than when it's just kind of lying um, straight that way, it's much more flattering on the arm. Nice. So again, I'm just following the hemline here on the sleeve, nothing fancy. Mm -hmm. My scissors are doing all the work. If, I'm just freestyling it here, if you feel more comfortable making some marks and measuring it out, yeah. please do. Yeah. And so, yeah. Cute. And one thing to note as well, if you give it a little tug, mm -hmm. then it's gonna curl a little bit. So it kind of has a little bit more of that more casual, cool vibe to it. Yeah, and that's okay if it curls. It's going right. to curl. That's, that's right. That's what the material does. That's what cotton does. Yes. Really nice freehand. Wow. Good for you. <laughs> what are we going to do with your next DIY? Okay, so for this one, so we played with the neckline. We played with the sleeve for this yeah. one. And I think what most would do is cut the actual bottom of the t-shirt. Absolutely. Crop right. tops are everywhere. People are having a lot of fun with that. And so you don't have to do like the actual little teeny tiny tops that we were wearing in like 92. Yes. You can do one a little bit lower, right? Definitely. Whatever you like. So even that's what I did yeah. with this t-shirt. And as you can like see, it. it hits pretty much where the top of my jeans hit. So right. I'm not, you know, doing an ab show over here. Um, <laughs> 
So with this one, I already measured it. So my recommendation, if you're not looking for to show a lot of midriff, yeah. then I would put on the t-shirt, I would see where your natural waist is or where the top of your pants usually sit. Mm -hmm. And then I would measure about an inch below that because we want to account for a little bit of curling. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And also we know that once we cut, there's no going back. Yes. So it's better to do a more conservative cut, try it on. And then if you need to cut a little bit more, you can revisit it and cut some more. Absolutely. So with this one, it's a, a little cute graphic. Oh, thank you. She still hasn't drawn anything <laughs> on the shirt. And it's a totally straight line. I don't know how you do that. You're kind. Amazing. Uh, well, if we really took a close look, but good from far. Whatever. Um, it's handmade. It's artisanal. Yes. <laughs> it's beautiful. One of a kind. So free bear hug. So yeah, some really cute graphic tees. Again, I'll give it that pull. And as you can see, it oh, is curly. that's what makes it go curly. That's right. cute. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Lastly, how many tie-dye shirts do you, well, I have a billion of them at home, like so many, because the kids make them at camp programs at school. So this is a cool thing that you can do with them, and it's fringe. It's all about the fringe. I'm obsessed with fringe. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite. Yeah. So in order to do this one, the first step, and I've already done it to save time, is you want to cut the bottom hem of the t-shirt in yeah. a straight line. So mm -hmm. we're removing that. So now we have that raw edge. And then first we need to cut segments because I'll show how we're going to fringe it yeah but first we need to map out those segments so they're about you know a finger in width yeah okay I've already cut some here um hopefully we can see that there but I've already kind of prepped some yeah so we would do that all the way around mm -hmm. and right now I mean you're probably like eh, Tanya that's <laughs> It's not looking too cute. <laughs> is this okay, really cute? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. So this is only the first part of it. Now yeah. here's where it gets really fun. Mm -hmm. In order to get that fringe effect, we're just literally going to give it a pull. Yeah. And then check that out. Oh, and out. it does that thing. And it does the thing. Okay, cool. Right. So we're gonna do that all the way around. Yeah. Here's my like I'm a chef moment where I take <laughs> out the finished product. What's up? Hey. I love that. How cute. Well, I love the way the fringe looks, but I like that you cut a V-neck. And did you even cut bigger armholes? I went I went crazy. Yes. I, full tank top, armholes, neckline, yes. V. And then with this, actually, I, I even did the bottom in a little bit of a V. So rather love having it. it straight across, which is also complementary on the waistline. It sure is. Was it hard to do the V-fringe? Uh, no, not really. So okay. you would just, when you do that cut at the mm -hmm. beginning, I did it all the way around, you would just cut it on a bit of a bias on either side yeah. on the diagonal. That's very cute. I love it. Tanya, really good. Uh, you can find all of these DIYs and instructions up on our website, cityline.tv.